Good afternoon. Uh, I thought I'd have a little chat today. Um, this is episode number 11, by the way. I'm this new series I started um, a month or two ago, or about a month and a half ago, called Self Mastery. So we're episode number 11, just to keep track of the details. And the question I want to ask you today, so I was talking earlier with another, another group about this, about where are you putting your focus? We're in the middle of an interesting time right now, as you may have guessed, or you may have experienced, or you may be aware of, that um, requires a change of perspective for a lot of us. I know a lot of people in the world are dealing with this, quite a lot of people are not, but in terms of, the, if you're watching this and you get this point, you can use this anywhere, and if you're not in this situation right now, this point will also help you. So, something bumped, I'm not sure what it was. Okay, so what I'm talking about basically is energetic focus regarding self-mastery, and where you put your um, mindset, kind of, sort of. We'll see where it goes. Anyway, so I was talking in the other group about basically, if we look, we tend to look down or look up. Now, physiologically speaking, everything's falling around. What's going on? We've got stuff bouncing around everywhere. It's strange. <laughs> Here we have lots of rattles. Anyway, distractions are interesting. So looking down, looking up. Physiologically speaking, if you're looking down, you tend to bring your energy down as well. So if you're like looking down at the ground, saying, I'm happy, I'm joyful, I'm fulfilled, you tend not to feel that way because you're looking down at the ground. It's, it's just like your physiology reflects your energetic feel. If you're looking up and your arms are open, your arms are open, your, your chest is wide, and you start saying, I'm depressed, I'm upset, I'm, I'm, I'm hurt feelings, you won't feel that either because physio physiology, physiology tends to direct our feelings. That's an interesting, that's a useful trick, by the way, to have. In case you're feeling like a certain mood, you want to shift it, you can change your physiology or change your state. That's a teaching that I've had for 30 plus years. So it's not new. However, what I'm aware of is we tend to watch our feelings go certain places without realizing it. Even when we're sitting still, sitting at a desk, at your computer, watching TV, even when we're walking around. I was talking about it today when I was on my, on my daily walk. And the question I'm asking about where are you putting your focus is really about internally. Are you focusing on the negative or the positive? Are you focusing down or up? Now, I'm definitely going to be clear about this. I'm not going to be talking about Pollyanna perspective here. Not about, you're not, not talking about, um, um, was, there was a term. It'll come back to me. But the reality is, is that we all have the opportunity to respond, as I've talked about many times before, versus react to things in the world. So, for example, dealing with this time we're going through now with, with the virus and everything else that's going on, there's a temptation for many of us, and a lot of people are feeling this, to feel depressed, isolated, uh, downplayed, upset, hurt feelings, judgmental, everything else. Now, I understand why. Because basically this invisible thing has blanketed the planet. And I was talking about the early, early talk about this. From one perspective, we can feel helpless and at its mercy because this invisible thing we can't see, we can't defend against really, except by washing your hands and wearing masks. Is that really gonna stop it? I mean, supposedly it will. But our mindset might not believe that fully. So I'm just going to say that. So I'm not saying don't do it. I'm saying please do that. So if I isolate, wash your hands, wear masks, etc., etc. Only go, out, only go out when you essentially need it to. But what I want to say though is that there's another way of looking at this. One part of this thing about the weight, the reason how this virus got to be everywhere on the planet is because we're so that people fly back and forward and there's there's no boundaries. People go, that's bad news. We should lock all the boundaries down. But think about it another way recognizing that we are so much more connected as a human race now, more of a unified race, by the way, not so isolated and um, competitive, well, we're attempting to be, that by having this understanding that we are all connected is a positive trait where there occasionally are aberrations, and this virus is an aberration. So you can look at it as being run by the virus or just being reminded by the virus that we're actually much more connected than we thought we were. That's good news. Yes, it is good news. But let's bring it home to internal. Let's bring it to a personal experience. So again, as I mentioned, physiology does override our ways of thinking. By looking down, we tend to feel more negative. Looking up, we feel more positive. It's actually a thing you can play with yourself, your homework if you choose. But the second part of this is that also we tend to run, um, we flash back to many, many years ago. Remember audio tapes? <laughs> I guess it would be MP3 players now. I don't know how you describe it. But we tend to run in our minds and in our, in our belief systems or in our internal internal programming <clears throat> a lot of times we play these loop tapes and that's a history lesson for some people about how we think about things and so what we are focusing on tends to be things that we've come into a routine about almost like a well what in a really bad analogy like a hamster wheel we keep going around and around and around and nothing changes the thing is though for those people who are don't who don't feel a change 
They don't feel they have a choice about changing, and that's a mistaken approach. I'm going to speak about that in a moment. But I want to stand, hey, Catherine, good to see you. Yes, I'm doing fine, thank you. I hope you are too. Um, it's an interesting time we're all in, different countries, different places. There's a lot of stuff going on. So part of this opportunity we have right now is how do we navigate through what's happening with a more positive perspective? And not Again, not Pollyanna. I'm speaking about this as a functional piece because it's tempting sometimes to get into the rut of repetitive. Like, let's just get back to what we're doing. And a lot of people I know are jonesing to get back to where it was. But what if, what if this is an opportunity to actually go through the, the valley <laughs> to the other side where something new is happening? What if during this time of seclusion, inclusion and reflection, you focus on transforming your own experience of yourself? Now, the outside world may not change ultimately. Maybe once we get to the other side of this time and they reopen the doors and we get to go out in the world, nothing will have changed except for some fresher air. But that doesn't mean you don't have to change your own internal experience. If you're at this point now where you're feeling like you're in that hamster wheel going around and around without changing because you want something to change but you're not sure how to do it, I suggest you start looking for different ways of doing things because a lot of this stuff is about changing habits, changing, making different choices, seeing things from a different perspective. Thank you, I'm glad, I'm, glad, I'm glad you're finding it good that I asked that. And this is my point, is that really this is a good time to do the investigation. I just bought a, a, bought a new book that a friend of mine has been talking about for ages. actually several people have been talking about for a, while, for a long time. So I finally went and bought the book today because I wanted to read on it and get, get more into that understanding. Because I want to keep changing and, and loving my own understanding of life and experience and practicing new things as well. It's also why I created the Self Mastery Revolution, which I've talked about before, and I'll talk about it here, and I'll put the link in the comments. The self mastery, self mastery revolution is a is an is a monthly membership support system I'm creating. I don't want to call it a group, but it is a group, I guess, where I'm providing lots of resources, teachings, inspirations, including these talks and some special talks I'm going to put in there, that will help you navigate through life in a better way, and it basically will help you navigate life from a different perspective, so you'll be looking at a different direction, and you'll find yourself in much more resource state. Self mastery revolution is designed. And it's funny, I mean, I created this way before. I, I didn't launch it until right before, but I created this way before this event happened, this new experience happened. But I launched it right before it started, and I didn't realize how coincidental it was. Spirit was not was nudging me for a while, so I knew about that. So self market Revolution, it's it's a low-entry fee, so you can get into it easily. It's not a major big outlay, so I want to make something accessible. I mean, if, you, if you're not going to Starbucks now because they closed them, you can easily afford self market Revolution, by the way. <laughs> easily. <laughs> So I made that intentional because the intention is to create a, a resource support and a, and a networking together of, of directional focus towards upliftment, towards wholeness, towards a healthier self-relationship and towards a more inspired way of living. Because right now we have an opportunity. In a way, what we have, as much as there's so much chaos in the world, we have this calmness, seriously, this place of calmness inside where we can choose where we want to go. Again, where do you put your attention? So my invitation is is if you're noticing your, your experience, your life experience is sucking right now, it may well be because of where you're putting your attention. Part of what I'm talking about here, again, is not Pollyanna, it's not about just being good, acting good to feel good, pretending as if it's no, not bad. It's about taking conscious effort, excuse me, making conscious effort and taking conscious choice to live your life from a new place, which is a self-centric, self-supportive, self-created relationship with yourself. Lots of, I don't know, lots of selves in there. So the self, self mastery revolution is something I'll put the link in the comments. If you want to know what it is, if you go to self mastery relationship or one word dot com, you can check it out for yourself. Um, I will put the link in the comments as well. But it's 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 I'm passionate about this, and I'm also emphatic about this because frankly, it's so easy to just like slide through and just wait till it gets done. We're just going to holding pattern. This is not the time to hibernate. This is definitely not the time to hibernate. It's tempting because you've got to isolate in place. You can't go out and you want to stay home. It's like, I'll just watch Netflix and do nothing. This is a good time to create. Not necessarily, and, and maybe it's going to create something in the world. I mean, you may be doing that. Maybe you're creating music or doing something else. But I'm recommending the support structures that I'm providing in the self-mastery self revolution to really navigate in a way that's supportive. I will be dropping a lot of teachings in there and a lot of new content as the next few weeks unfold. Right now, I'm still building the group. So I'm inviting you to come in now. There are some special, um, if you sign up as an annual member, there are actual bonuses you get if you do that. Um, someone's already claimed one of those. So I recommend you get that. So there should be some kind of conference call such a lot of people could benefit from that. Well, thank Catherine. 
I'm going to be putting in Zoom calls in the group. So if you join the group, if you want to do that, and if other people want to join the group too, there will be ongoing support being created that way. I want to create a, a space, not only just of teachings and of videos, but of participation. So yes, there will be monthly, actually probably more frequently, not promising yet, but it definitely will be conference calls, Zoom calls basically for people, wherever they are in the world, we can join in. So that'll be in there. Um, this is a place for transformation. If you go to check out the page, by the way, again, selfmasteryrevolution.com, there's a little description of what's happening, what's invitational, and it's an easy way to get in. Again, it's a low entry fee. Um, there's a monthly membership or an annual membership. The annual membership gives you more bonuses because it's cheaper that way and you save money. And it's also cheap to get in if you go monthly. So whatever you do, regardless if you do choose in or, choose or don't, my invitation to you is first of all, watch your physiology, as I mentioned at the beginning. And secondly, watch what you're telling yourself. I've talked about this in, in other talks this before, this new series of self mastery. I've done a few of these talks now. This is number 11, as I mentioned. Hi, Mary. There are keys to learning how to live your life more from a place of choice, choice is one, and responsiveness, which is two, that is not based upon reactivity or victimization. Learning how to master your own life, again, self-mastery revolution, is a revolutionary thought for some people. That's why I called it what it is. So however you do this, whatever you choose to do, good, I'm glad you're focusing on that right now, Mary. If you want to join me in the group, you know the link, you can check it out. Um, it's, it's an opportunity right now. It's a powerful place to be where you can have what you want if you start by working on yourself. So don't go back to sleep. Don't hibernate. This is not the time to do that. Yes, take time to play and have fun along the way. I mean, I go for daily walks as part of my own um, self-care. And I do watch Netflix once in a while. But I'm also in the process of learning and growing myself and teaching those who want to grow as well. So this is a good time to transform your experience and focus on where you want to go to, to be a more whole person and to love yourself more through practice that really sustain and support who you are. Where you put your focus, ideally, at least some of the time, is in the mirror at yourself and seeing how you can improve yourself in a positive way. Not condoning, not judging, not belittling, but how you can encourage and support yourself to get you where you want to go. That's my suggestion and my recommendation for homework. If you join me in Self, self Mastery Revolution, that'll be part of the package. So just saying that. So this made some sense and give you some thought for some things to ponder. Um, really, this is a choice point every single day, especially during this time we're in, where things are um, providing opportunities for growth. <laughs> some good, some bad. I've had a few of those myself the last couple of days. And by the way, for those of you who celebrate this, happy Passover because it starts tonight. Um, and happy Easter for the weekend if I don't do another Facebook Live before then. Um, this is an interesting time room and not able, this, this doing stuff remotely is transforming a lot of people's experiences. And this is one of the things because we are experiencing doing things remotely this way during these festivals and birthdays and other events. It's a very important time to realize that you're the only person you definitely are with all the time is yourself. So how are you taking care of yourself? That's the question I'm going to leave you with. In fact, if you want to put in the comments, well, how, what you're doing to take care of yourself, what you're doing to focus on how you support yourself and how you want to see yourself after this journey, this, this, um, experience is complete. Again, the invitation to join me is open. I welcome you to come and join the, the um, Self Mastery Revolution. And uh, as always, as a reminder to you, I invite you, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon.